Welcome back my tinkerers. Today we will be harping on the newest member of the Prusa family, the original Prusa Mini. I was trying to see how Prusa will tackle the market and what kind of 3D printer will they launch this fall. It seems to me that the Core XY 3D printers will eventually take over because they seem to get better results at higher speed than the Cartesian 3D printers. I was hoping that Prusa will tap into the Core XY niche. But to my surprise, they made an even better move and they went for the introductory market and the schools. This not only makes Prusa a reliable company, but they also have a lot of business acumen. This move may have been a team effort and boy does it pan out. Tapping the introductory market and schools, it's a brilliant business and marketing move. All I know about the Prusa printers is that everybody loves them and the quality of the 3D prints, it's amongst the best. I kind of hesitated in getting a Prusa because somehow I thought I'll make a better move by getting a Core XY and save some money in the process. That's how I ended up with the 2.3 Sapphire S, which works. I cannot acquire any more 3D printers because it has become quite a bit of a storage problem for the two I already have, but they're not that big of a problem. The problem is all the adjacent tools you need to have to fix them, tune them, change them, upgrade them, low grade them, whatever you want to do, you need tools. And these tools take space. So getting a Prusa would be redundant. I feel that right now for me to get a Prusa, they would have to come out with a brilliant Core XY of large volume, which also would support the MMU and a great price. I'm not sure I will be able to abstain myself from owning the Prusa Mini, but time will only tell. So let's talk about the pros and the cons in this 3D printer. Right out of the bat, a major pro, chamfered gripping gear and the single gear extruder. Now this may not be the first one out there, but if it is, I'll lord it over Prusa because it was my idea to have a chamfered gear because it's better. Analyzing the situation, I wish I'd been a patent troll right about now. I would just charge him a cent in licensing fees. So FYI Prusa, the invoice, it's already in the post. I think this extruder was a splendid move, especially that it was my idea. I guess they stumbled on my dying channel and they said, hey, what a brilliant man. Thank you for thinking freely for us or for free for us. You're very welcome. When in dire straits come to me, I'm full of great ideas. Okay. In addition, the Prusa Mini 3D printer comes with a built-in Ethernet module and an optional Wi-Fi. And I do have to say, all my devices that I depend on are Ethernet wired. I don't use Wi-Fi unless I'm couch computing or streaming. But when I sit down in my command center, I'm wired, baby. It comes with a custom 32-bit bodyboard and so long for all of those 8-bit limitations that people have complained about. Now those are all gone. Check this out. The 3D printer uses 2209 Trinamics silent stepper drivers and these enable sensorless homing. I think tier time Cetus did this as well. And that reminds me, will the Cetus price drop because the Prusa seems to be in a similar category as the Cetus. The Mini even looks like the right-handed or left-handed Cetus. So there you have it. You have a uh, Cetus by Prusa now. The 3D printer comes with also USB printing and one click printing option. So now I don't have to break my nails trying to get out that SD card. It's easy peasy. Easy assembly and the filament holder has bearings to make sure you do not have any issues with the spool heft and the filament path. Quel bonheur! Moreover, the bed goes to 100 degrees centigrade and the nozzle goes to 280 degrees. So this is not just a beginner 3D printer. It's a versatile, hopefully headache-free 3D printer for the prototypist. Because I feel that now, after some dealings with 3D printers, most of the time I print small parts. So this one will just do fine for anyone entering the game. Just to bring out the hip-hop in me right there. It also features a 0.25 millimeter nozzle for great details and it's packed with safety features. I've been trying to understand this thermal runaway protection stuff and I still do not get it. Well, at least I didn't look intensely into it. And I think that none of my 3D printers have that properly set up. Unless the firmware I upgraded to, it worked, at least for one of them. So I just stopped printing now and I'm blabbering on the internet about 3D printing. Uh, did I mention that the magnetic flex sheet is textured on one side and smooth on the other? Well, it comes with that too. Plus, you can flex it to take your 3D print off of it. Now, this would not be me if I wouldn't find something to nitpick on. 
So uh, I'm quite stumped. I'm quite fresh out of ideas on what to nitpick because there are not too many things. Uh, wait, hold on. There is an optional filament sensor, but at least it's available for purchase because the 3D printer doesn't come with the filament sensor. Maybe that is because of the small volume. You cannot finish a whole spool in one printout. I guess that's the thinking there. But I am assuming that the sensor, it's pre-provisioned in the firmware, or at least it comes with a new firmware that has that feature enabled, or you just flash it. You do not have to recompile the firmware. There is no mentioning about the MMU integration. That's multi-filament printing, if you did not know what that means. I wonder if that will be shortly added, or is just an oversight in the marketing campaign. Or they purposefully, potentially put it, <laughs> or they purposely or they purposely blah, 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 blah. or they intentionally made the 3d printer not compatible with the mmu and if you want the mmu then you have to get the prusa mk3 s whatever to get the mmu so that's another uh that's a brilliant uh, business decision right there but if this 3d printer can support the mmu and it integrates with the mmu then this makes things more tempting because you can get an mmu and print fairly good parts in multiple filaments it's fantastic so one major nitpick i have with this 3d printer is that by its design seems to be an only bowden style extruder which may affect your retraction settings but then again the bowden tube is not that long and it is also angled to reduce sharp turns which reduces unnecessary tension inside the tube and the chamfer extruder gear my idea do not ever forget that prusa will further reduce the filament grinds being sucked inside the tube in addition i'm not sure if the rails would still be true when the direct extruder by its heft with the stepper motor would be at the other end of the linear rail so that was a good compromise also they implemented some nice features just to have a bowden only extruder well thought out so the only major serious complaint I have is that they stole my idea with the single gear chamfered extruder. So I will be expecting my one cent check, but until then, I bid the mon amis farewell and adieu. P.S. Senor Prusa, it better be one of those huge checks that people receive at the lottery so I can hang it. The check should say from Prussia would love one cent. Thank you. Happy 3D printing.